Eastern Ontario is the new battleground of the Liberal invasion of the green energy agenda. Municipalities have been stripped of their rights to have any ability to make decisions regarding their own jurisdictions, even though they passed resolutions saying that they are our unwilling hosts. The environmental damage and health problems due to the unwelcome monstrosities are being ignored by the courts and tensions are mounting as more and more rural communities are saying no more desecration of prime agricultural farmland. Our team discovered a long time ago that one Michael Crawley, former Ontario and federal Liberal Party president, was the founder of AIM PowerGen which received a $475 million 20-year fit contract under then Premier Dalton McGuinty. Once Dalton's green energy grew, now Crawley is one very rich man on the backs of Ontario hydro ratepayers. In 2004, PC MPP Bob Renseman hooted and hollered in the legislature along with NDP's Howard Hampton about the blatant law-breaking that was being done by the McGuinty government. But just as it is in Ontario today, there was no rule of law in this province then for Liberals either. Fast forward to today and we have Mike Crawley 2.0. His name is David Thornton, stakeholder in Electricité de France. Mr. Thornton turns out to have a very interesting Merck history, beginning in 2008 as Special Assistant in the office of Premier Dalton McGuinty. Does this sound familiar? He left the Ministry of Energy to spearhead EDF projects into rural communities. If Thornton had been a federal minister, the private sector would have been illegal under federal conflict of interest guidelines. But there is no such law provincially that prevents this from taking place. And I forgot to mention David Thornton was also the campaign manager for the Ontario Liberal Party in the 2012 election. Thornton's boss at Electricity de France, or EDF, is one John Kiernan, who is also responsible for the last sale of Ontario Hydro Energy. And how well did that work out for Ontario Hydro users? In mid-July 2015, property owners in Alexandria were introduced to Sherawat, a Bay Street numbered company. Sherawat's ownership is as interesting as the past of their founders is, one of which was, is Brian McGillis, the former mayor of South Stormont, and who is a liberal supporter with strong ties to the party. The absentee partner turned out to be none other than Joe Fontana, former mayor of London and convicted fraudster in submitting false invoices from his son's wedding. One key element that is not properly represented to farmers and other potential land lessees are that liens are being placed on farmland, farmers' land that the energy companies do not even have title to. David Hemingway of Wind Turbine News reported to us that he has recorded over $4 billion of liens, leases or debentures that have been placed on the turbine host properties. These are just a few examples of stakeholders in the green energy agenda with deep liberal ties. People who used to be in politics and who went from advisors for Ministry of Energy to stakeholders and companies involved in implementing the Green Energy and Green Economy Act. This $50 billion liberal greenwashing of our basic hydro utility, owned by Ontarians for over 100 years, will go down in history of the, as the crime of the century in Ontario. This is Beth Trudeau reporting from Embermont, Ontario.